John Paul Gaultier loves to shock us. He's one of those kids that doesn't follow the rules. He can be an extremist at times, and it works for him. Born in a suburb of Paris on April 24, 1952, John Paul Gaultier was a fashion prodigy. At only 13 years old, he was already designing clothes for his mother and grandmother. I think one of the most inspiring thing about Gautier is that he had no formal training. At 17, he sent some sketches to Pierre Cardin, the former bad boy of French fashion, who offered him a job on the spot. In 1976, Gautier launched his own label and stunned the Paris runways with his avant-garde designs. He got into the business at the height of the punk movement in Britain, and he created a Gallic spin on punk with its aesthetic of recycling and reusing. He was a very revolutionary designer. Paris was very high fashion, and uh, I don't think they really understood all of his designs. In 1985, Gautier continued to push the envelope by introducing man skirts and a new wave of unconventional runway models. He sent models down the runway that include pregnant women, senior citizens, midgets, ninjas, barnyard animals, you name it. Gautier won the French Designer of the Year Award in 1987 but became a household name in 1990 when he partnered with music's most notorious performer. Jean-Paul Gaultier and Madonna were friends, and when he designed her 1990 Blonde Ambition World Tour wardrobe, he skyrocketed. Gautier designed a bra for her that was basically like cones coming out of the bra. People could not stop talking about this bra. It sent a shockwave around the world. Gautier later expanded his career by working in films, such as Luc Besson's The Fifth Element, as well as developing furniture, eyewear, and a popular line of perfumes. Most people do know that signature torso look to his fragrance bottles, and it exploded. He proved that he could expand the idea, the concept of fashion, and bring it into fragrance. Gautier partnered with Hermes in 1999, resigning as their creative director in 2011. He continues to design his namesake label and nets an estimated $400 million in retail sales and branded product. One thing I love about John Paul Gaultier, even though he's very avant-garde, he's always timeless. 